working with you today on our art project for our 2021 fundraiser. Today you are going to be duplicating mobiles by the famous 20th century artist Alexander Calder, otherwise known as Sandy. Alexander Calder was an American artist who was most famous for his paintings, his wire sculptures, and for his innovative kinetic spinning mobiles. He studied mechanical engineering, but he was truly an artist at heart. You should have your mobile kit. And inside your kit, you will have six wire arms, seven paper cutouts. Some of yours might be different colors than mine, but that's okay and these little tiny jump rings that might have gotten lost in the bottom of your paper brown bag, but hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Now, other things that you will need for the art project today are a pair of scissors and a pencil. Pretty easy. So let's get started. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. How's that? Okay, ready? So. Also, in that paper kit is a plastic cutout piece that's already outlined for you. So, grab your scissors. Grab your plastic cutout. And let's start cutting. Okay. We're going to go inside the dark line of the cutout. Okay. So, we're not going to leave that black outline remaining and voila this has got to get back to me somehow if you're in class please give it to your teacher if you're at home give it to your parent and they can deliver it to me or to the room mom or i will come pick it up either way we're going to figure that out there'll be an email to follow regarding this Set that aside, don't lose it, whatever you do. It's really, really important because this is going to go onto your beautiful Calder Mobile and it's gonna be auctioned off and we want someone to buy it for your home. Okay, next up. If you look at all of your wire pieces, one of them is bent on both sides. The other five, here, see, I'll show you. Bent, bent, okay. The other five have a loop and are bent on one side. So let's get that two-sided bent piece of wire and we're gonna pick up one of our paper cutouts. There are two holes in the paper cutouts. You want to start with the hole that's closest to the edge, not the one that's near the center, but the one that's closest to the edge, okay? So we're gonna take that wire piece and we're gonna stick it through the hole closest to the edge, pop it through, and find the hole on the other side. Now, if you need to move your wire, it's so easy and flexible, you can do it with your fingertips. Go ahead and move it around and push it through that second hole, okay? Now, with your index finger and your thumb, just pinch it closed. So easy, look at that, okay? Straighten out your wire. My wire is a little bent, so I'm just gonna smooth it. Get a feel for the wire. It's so bendable. It's so easy to work with. Now, the other end, you're gonna grab another piece of paper. Try not to get the same color. Get two different colors. Stick it through that first hole. Wrap it around. And pop that through the hole in the center. Take your thumb and your index finger and boop. Ta-da! You have your first rod. This is the lower rod of your mobile, okay? It's the first arm. And then we're gonna start working our way up. But first, we're gonna attach the paper cutouts to the rest of the wires. So let's go. Moving on. Grab that bent piece, okay? 
and stick that through the hole closest to the edge, pop it through, grab the hole towards the center, and pinch. Pinch it closed, smooth it out, smooth it out. Here we go. Set that down. On to the next. Grab your wire, paper cutout, pop it through, grab the hole on the other side. My hole is very close to the next one, so I'm going to have to bend my wire ever so slightly. And okay, we're having some torrential rains outside. You might hear a little background noise. Uh, pinch that closed, pull it smooth, make a little arc, like a like a little mini rainbow. Yeah? Okay. Ta-da! Maybe not too much, just a little. Just a gentle arc, like so. Okay. Next one. Grab your wire. There's that pointy piece. Grab your next piece of paper cut out. Find the hole. Pop it through. Find the hole closer to the center. That was so easy for me. I hope it was easy for you. And pinch it closed. Ta-da! Yay! Pinch it, pull it through. Smooth out the wire. Oh, another thing would be great if you have this loop facing up, like so. Yeah, so keep that closed, but have the, the loop comes around and hooks that way. Okay. Next one. Find that hole, push it through, find the hole towards the center, and pop that puppy right in there, and seal it closed. Okay, find that loop here. Remember, you want that loop facing up. Okay, smooth it out. Last one. Pop it through, find the hole on the other side. Okay, and pinch, and smooth. I'm gonna close this little gap here that's sticking out a little bit too far. So with my fingers, I'm just gonna pinch that closed. Okay, so it makes a perfect little loop. Okay, and my doggie is trying to get some attention. <laughs> okay, smooth that out. All right, just like that. Now. Let's go back to the first piece that has the two paper cutouts. Now look at this. We're talking about balancing points, right? Think about the seesaw on the playground, the teeter-totter. Maybe one person on the end of the teeter-totter is heavier than the next. So it's going to lean this way. If you pulled it out, it's almost balanced. Pull it closer and, oh, there you go. It's balanced. Now you have a level surface. This is called the fulcrum, the pivot point. That's what keeps your lever balanced evenly, even, even weight distribution, okay? That is a fulcrum or a balancing point, okay? Pick up your piece. Let's find the fulcrum. Is it here? Close, actually. <laughs> No, it's not. This is sticking up higher, so you're going to move your finger down. Balance, no. Balance, no. Balanced, yes. Pinch it. Grab your pencil. Watch this. You're going to wrap the wire around the pencil. Pull the pencil out. Look, you have a loop, okay? Pinch that loop, smooth out your wire. The loop is on top, okay? The loop is on top. Moving on, grab your jump ring. These cute little silver things. I handcrafted each and every single one of these, by the way. 
a lot of work went into these little packets. We didn't order them professionally. Okay, you grab your uh, jump ring, grab the loop on the end of your second wire, and loop it in. So you have wire, jump ring, loop from your first wire, now close it. Okay. Now you have three locked together. Pretty simple, right? Ta-da! Okay, let's find our second balancing point on our second wire. Is it here? No, we need to move, slide it down. Ooh, like that. Close, close. Oh, look at that, I can balance. You get an A plus if you can find the balancing point on your wire. Pinch it, wrap it around. I was just kidding, by the way. You're not getting a grade on this? Okay. <laughs> There's our next loop. What are we gonna do? We're gonna pinch it, we're gonna smooth it out. Grab your next jump ring, guys. Put it through that loop that you just made so beautifully. Hold that. Now, grab your third wire and put it through that loop and close your jump ring. Okay. Grab that third wire. Let's find the balancing point. Is that it? No. Nope. Slide it down. Oh, closer, closer. Almost, almost. If I took my finger off, it would fall off. There we go, aha. Balancing point. Pinch it closed, grab your pencil. Wrap it around, wrap it around. Make another loop, pull your pencil out. There you go. You made another loop. Pinch it, smooth out your wire. Okay, you can already see this mobile is taking shape. Maybe we can bend it a little bit to make it look a little bit pretty right now. Yeah? What do you guys think? Is it, is it working? We only have a couple more to go. Now, we're gonna grab our next jump ring. We're gonna put that on our loop and grab the next arm. Close that, great. You guys are doing great. I know this takes a little bit of patience, but we're gonna get it right. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't be hard on yourself if your wires are a little bit crinkly or lumpy and bumpy. Okay, let's find the balancing point here. Is it here? Mm, no, this is too heavy. So we're gonna move our lever closer to the center not yet. A little bit closer. There we go. All right, pinch that spot, grab your pencil, wrap the wire around the pencil, make it nice, a nice little loop there, and then remove your pencil. Go ahead and pinch it closed and smooth out that mobile wire. Okay, get yourself a nice, gentle arc. There we go. There we go. It's okay to play with it just a little bit. Get it to look good. You can always go back and smooth them out later. Okay, look, what do you guys think so far? Where's the pencil? Okay, two more to go. What comes next? Yes, you guessed right, another jump ring. Open it up ever so slightly. Put it through the loop. Grab your next wire and hook it onto that next 
wire and close it up. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that is not the balancing point. Let's slide our hand down. Fix that wire. Okay, let's slide our hand down. And, oh, oh, close, close, close. Aha, there we go. Pinch it, quick, don't let it get away. And wrap it around your pencil. Okay, remove your pencil. Look at how close this is getting to the, uh, to the, uh, all the other loops. It's not going out as far. This one went out a little further. See that distance? This one is a little bit closer. Okay, smooth that out. Get this guy kind of straightened a little bit. Bend that wire, smooth it with your fingers. Next jump ring. This is our last arm. Hook it on there and close your jump ring. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Okay. Let's find the balancing point here. Is it here? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Is it here? Is it here? Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Aha, I'd say it's right about there. Okay, grab your pencil, put it on top of the arm of the mobile. Loop it around. Remove your pencil. Ta-da! Smooth it out with your finger. Create a nice, gentle arc. That's it. Okay, grab your last jump ring. By the way, if you are having problems finding your jump rings, you don't need to use them. It won't spin as freely, it won't move around as freely, but um, you still get movement, so it's fine. Last jump ring goes on and pinch it closed. <sighs> All right. I think it looks pretty good. I hope you guys had fun learning about Calder. Uh, just that was a brief history of who the artist was. He's famous for his moving beautiful mobiles and most importantly let's get these pieces back to your teacher or to your room parent and tell your parents to look for your mobile for the auction on March 20th. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.